Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to show you guys how I make this salad that I was talking about in my grocery haul um, like a week or so ago. Several of you were very interested in how I make this salad, so I thought I would go ahead and make it, or go ahead and film this since I was making it for lunch. All of our plates are dirty, so I'm using this Pyrex dish, but so just ignore that. I'm going to show you what's in here and then um, show you how to make it. So. First of all, I just use this shredded lettuce. So I shred some Monterey Jack cheese. I put a whole avocado on there. I just like dice it up. Um, just a little bit of pepper, some oregano. I put a capful of this red wine vinegar. And then I put two capfuls of this olive oil. So it comes out to about two tablespoons of olive oil and about a tablespoon of red wine vinegar. And then I just use some deli chicken meat. We just go get it sliced. It's like the boar, boar head, board's head, um, deli chicken, rotisserie chicken. And then in here, if I can get it open with one hand. There we go. It, I just um, thinly slice some red onion. This is so good. I did not think I was going to be a red onion person, and I am. So this is very, very thinly sliced onion like I don't like huge chunks so I have this as sliced as thinly as I can so I'm gonna go ahead and make this I'm just gonna so I get this size bag it's eight ounces so for each salad I just do half the bag so since I already had half this yesterday I'm having the other half today I eat this every day for lunch. Um, I come home for lunch from, I come home for lunch from work. And so I need something that's going to tide me over until I come home after work. So that's why you do a lot of lettuce. And then I go ahead and put the olive oil on and the red wine vinegar because I like to the lettuce to kind of soak in it for a little while. So it's soaking in it while I'm putting all my stuff on here. So. I'm going to do the rest of it real quick, show you what it looks like, and yeah, because I can't do this one-handed, so I'll be right back. Alright guys, so here's it all done. I brought it over here to our dining room table so you can see it in better light since the kitchen just has horrible light. But this is what it looks like. You can see the onion in there, and then I just shred up that chicken meat on top, dice up avocado, put on some cheese, and you're good to go. Like, that is a pretty hearty salad right there, and this keeps me full until dinner time, which is awesome. I love this so much this is also gluten free and i wanted to go ahead and mention so this is jersey mike's inspired salad so i discovered jersey mike's right before i became gluten free or had to go gluten free because of my celiac disease and i was really upset about it because i loved the way they did their sandwiches and i discovered you could get a salad in a bowl or what what do they call it sub in a tub that's what they call it and so I was watching them make it, and I was like, oh my gosh, I can totally do that at home. So I did. <laughs> so here it is. So you will, that's why I do have the oregano on there and stuff. You do not have to have oregano on there. I just like it because I it tastes like Jersey Mike's to me, and I love it. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Let me know in the comments down below if you love Jersey Mike's and if you've ever tried a sub in a tub from them. And, oh, you can also add ham to this. I don't like ham, but you can add ham to this. My hus That's what my husband does, and he loves it. But... Yes, so in the comments down below, let me know if you like Jersey Mike's and if you've ever tried a sub in the tub, and let me know if you're going to try this salad or not. Anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.